But I am curious, another thing about you personally is this, this journey you've been to listening to the voices of knowing that it was time or it was um, an opportunity for you to um, spend less time in the Amway business, not day to day, not going around the globe, but like what, what were sort of over the, what was the time frame for that decision about, okay, I'm gonna think about my life 2.0 after Amway and what sort of things were pinging at you as you decided uh, evolved through that decision-making process? Well, it, it's, a real, it's a real interesting process because when you're in the middle of it, you really don't think about it. You know you have to su have a succession plan. You know you have to move on. But you're in the middle of it, and we liked what we were doing. You, you know, so you just kind of keep doing it, and, and you push things on. So it's hard, first of all, it's hard to get, to get it in front of you to go, oh, we really need to do something about this. Again, in our context, it was Steve and Andel and, and myself you know, trying to say, you know, it's time. And in a family business, you have siblings who are kind of saying, okay, it, it, you know, it, it's time. We've got to think about this longer term. So it's something that happens over a period of time. It's not something that just clicks. It's something that you go, okay, time to move on. How are we going to do this? And, and then you have to have some conversations about what's that going to look like? We weren't prepared. You know, we'd been in a family business for almost 60 years, you know, with family leadership and in, 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 the, in those positions. So as a strategy, maybe we have the family relationship at the board level, not at the operations leading you know, or management level. Okay, what's that look like? So it's something that happens over time. And then, and then probably it's not until you're through it a couple of years that you look back and go, wow, that was good timing. <laughs> you know, cause, because uh, you know, it, it does give you opportunities to do a few more things, even though Steve and I remain very involved uh, with the business, as does uh, our, our whole family. Um, in different capacities, but um, that's really kind of, uh, that's a, it, it's no, not something that just happens. It's something you know about, but it develops. Yeah. Yeah. And I wondered, uh, just the grind of being the leader of such a, again, huge global um, business presence. And were there times where you felt uh, tired of always championing always uplifting you know i mean you have to have times where you're like i don't know i don't know if i can put on this face today you know we're t is i have no idea i'm just conjecturing as a leader like it's it's not all roses but i'm just wondering if there were times and moments not specifically but like were there times and moments where you're like someone else can do this for a while you know like <laughs> I, I this is really rough and maybe not but i was just thought toss it, it up every once in a while every once in a while something would come up and steve and i go holy smokes why do we're who are we looking around for to get this done? But that was, that was very rare and very short. We would, I, I think we just, you know, we grew up in this business and, and it was, gen, I, you know, I'd get on a plane to go somewhere or, or go into a meeting and I'd wake up every day going, I get to, I get to do this again. I'd kind of pinch myself. Yeah. And, and it was just because we worked with such great people. Right. And, 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 and the, the culture that Jay and, and dad set up was, and we talked about this, there's never a problem at Amway, it's just a challenge, it's just a challenge. And we're gonna figure out how to go through it. So, so they set the tone that it was always in solution mode. We didn't lament about the problem, we studied the problem, we tried to figure out the problem. You know, we, like I said, you might have like five minutes where you complain about it, then it's like, okay, enough, we gotta figure out how to solve it. And, and, and everybody would come together and we watched teams of people do amazing things to overcome problems, to find creative, innovative solutions to move forward. The Full Exposure Podcast is brought to you by Dr. Peter Hahn and University of Michigan Health West in appreciation of the creative and artistic visionaries who enrich our lives through cultural connections.